Hi guys, so this is just a quick follow up video from my other videos. Um, what we've got in front of us here is this is my Phantom 1, which I've reshelled into the Phantom 2 shell. Nice simple job. I've done another video which is available on my channel. Um, literally, all the components go in straight, no problem at all. The only thing you've got to do is move the LED somewhere else. I've chosen to put it on the front of the Phantom. Um, I'm using the original Zen Moose bracket, which fits perfectly on the Phantom 2. Um, there are actually screw holes for it. Um, and what I've also done is I've created, using the Sarah Wuth website um, and the excellent bit of work that, um, that, that they've done, um, I've created a CAN bus port on the Phantom 1 because um, I've got the upgrade board. So I've soldered four cables and created this. Again, my channel has a video of how to do that. Plugged into it, we've got the iOSD Mini, which is there. And plugged into the iOSD Mini, we've got the Bluetooth unit. Uh, my other video has already shown that the Bluetooth unit was working, so I know the CAN bus port should work. This is really just to find out whether you can piggyback something off it. Um, I've got my iPhone ready. I've also got um, my new Vonista 8-inch FPV monitor uh, that I got from First Person View. Really nice monitor. As you can see, they're static, not blue screen at the moment. So let's just turn it all on and see if everything's working. Transmitter's all on. Okay, so first indication, Zenmoose has kicked in. BTU unit has a green light. IOSD has a green light. Monitor is displaying the output of the Zenmoose. And as you can see, we've also got voltage. We've got the artificial horizon. And we've got all of the things that you would expect from the iOSD Mini. So working absolutely fantastic. So let's just make sure that the piggyback system is working. So BTU unit, turn the phantom, let's just go into the NM assistant. Oh, and immediately it's already done a scan. It's found the phantom. and it's connected and we can see we've got a connection there and just to prove that this is doing it I'll go into aircraft setting motor test and so that's me just tapping M2 so that's all working so as you can see that gives us plenty of space to play with um, basically what I'm going to do for the um, for more videos uh, I'm intending potentially to buy the Phantom 2 battery and convert that so you can actually use it um, on the Phantom 1 inside the Phantom 2 shell the other thing that you can see not very clearly but my um, FPV under tray um, I'm going to make a version this uh, this version that I've got is the Zen Moose version um, which does fit absolutely perfectly on here. The only problem is you wouldn't be able to use it if you were using the Phantom 2 battery because the clip would get in the way. But anyway, if uh, if you're interested in any of what's to follow, um, then subscribe to my channel. I've also got a blog. Look in the comments below. You'll see the uh, the link to the blog.